Hi folks, it's Adam from Bright Slides. We're going to do a quick tutorial on Podium for PowerPoint and a real quick introduction actually. So first of all, here's my PowerPoint presentation. It's already open in PowerPoint. I'm going to go ahead and quickly launch Podium by clicking on the Launch Podium button here on the Podium tab. And when I do that, it's going to take a second to load. Okay. So. Here I have Podium for uh, PowerPoint to open and the first thing I want to do as a new user is I want to download the latest content from the cloud. So once you click on this icon, it's going to start, it'll connect to the cloud, download the latest thumbnails that, uh, that have been pushed out uh, to the licensed users and it's going to download templates, backgrounds, um, 3D clip art, etc. So let this, let's just uh, wait for this to complete for a quick second. Okay, so now one thing I want to keep in, I want to tell you to keep in mind is that it's not actually downloading the full content. It's only downloading the thumbnails. And here, when you cycle through here, you can see the thumbnails in the shelf view here on the library tab of backgrounds. Um, there is a standard screen and white screen. So here are the subcategories that you can cycle through when you actually get the new content. And I'm going to head over to templates right over here. You click on templates and it shows me all the templates that have been pushed out in the previous year. So here I have uh, templates that were released in 2013, 2012, and then 2011. And if you notice, here are the subcategories down here. So these were the ones that were uh, released in July, August, and September. Um, you're free to use any one of these templates uh, that are built into PowerPoint. Uh, if you're a licensed user. So the first thing I want to do is find a template that I like the design to and the style to. So I'm going to download that template. Let me look around here. Um, since we're doing a presentation on an SEO, um, let's choose this one right here. So I'm going to double click on it and it says it's not downloaded yet. Do you want to download it now? You know, I'm going to click yes. Let it download. Now that it's downloaded on my hard drive, I'm going to click on this button right here, Enhance Presentation. So I'm going to click on Enhance Presentation, and there you go. It automatically adds a background, adds the text styling that was associated with it, and enhances your current presentation. So that's enhancing a current presentation. Now let's go back to PowerPoint for, or a Podium for a second. And I just want to let you know that if you do cycle through these, there is a next button here. And depending on the size of your screen or your resolution, you may see all of the templates or the backgrounds in the shelf view, or you can click next and see additional ones as it cycles through additional ones. So this templates right here, there's also backgrounds also in subcategory, broken down in subcategory format. Um, I can uh, click on a file here. Let's go ahead and click on this one right here. I'm in widescreen bokeh and I'm going to click this one. I'm going to double click on it and it says it's not yet downloaded. Do you want to download it now? Yes. So now it's now getting the full version from template server and here it op automatically opens up in slide designer if you notice. So now here is all the color filters you can do. For example, let's do hue. And let's, here on the right side, on the right pane, you can actually see a thumbnail of what your your possible hue selection and settings can change it into. So I'm going to change it into a little bluish. I'm going to set that to about right about here and say apply hue. And it changes the hue of the main slide here. Now, let's see if I can add a little bit of a motion blur to this. Not too much, but I want to add a little bit and here are some additional settings that I can choose between blur size, motion direction right over here. So I can choose, so what this is doing is circling in a 360 degree motion circular blue. Uh, so let's set it to that much. I'm going to apply the motion blur. You can watch it right here. Yep. So that was set to a little down. Um, and then now if let's say I want to use this in PowerPoint, this background. I mean, there's a ton of other features and functions just in the slide designer tab. 
Um, you can add a halftone uh, uh, canvas to it. You can do some dilation to it, color pencil. You can even do add a wave length in here. See, right over here, you can actually add some more crazy effects. You can actually choose the back color. Let's say set it to red. Apply wave. I'm just going to do a sample one here. I mean, it's not going to be the prettiest one you've ever seen, but there you go. When you create your slide background here, this button right here is available on all the slides. See, the export to. So this one, you can export this background you just created to the slide builder tab, which is this tab right here, or the 3D text tab, which is this tab right here, or the PowerPoint tab, which is this tab right here. So I'm going to export it down to the slide builder tab. Now it's exported to slide builder tab with an opacity setting. There it is. Now let's say I wanted to add an, a 3D metaphor and object to there. So let's say I'm going to add this one right here. I haven't downloaded. Let me download it. Now keep in mind all of the content that's including Podium for PowerPoint is free for you to use. Now I'm going to take it and say export to the PowerPoint tab. Basically, you can think of it as a workflow. So moving from library to slide designer to slide builder if you want. And every one of these is optional. And then moving it to 3D text if you want and then to the PowerPoint tab. Now that when you move it to the PowerPoint tab, you can apply this background that you just designed here to the current slide, to any selected slides because you may not want it on all slides. Now, all slides gives it, just automatically applies it to all slides, okay? When you click on select individual PowerPoint slides, it brings up a little dialog that you can actually choose. Actually, it's gonna open it up in the same view here, which slide you want to apply it to, okay? So, here are two options that I wanna talk about also, is you can set the design as a PowerPoint background or you can set the design as a free floating image. When you actually set it as a free floating image, it's not applied to the canvas. It's actually, you can move it around, resize it, do all those crazy things with it. So here we have our slide presentation on the PowerPoint tab. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on all slides, but we don't want to set it as a free floating image. So we're gonna set it as the PowerPoint background on all slides. Just let's click on that and it automatically adds the background we did onto all the slides. Now I know it's a little um, out of proportion here, but we took a wide screen and applied it to a standard screen. So just be careful when you do that. Um, you don't wanna uh, stretch your background uh, incorrectly. So that's why in Podium for PowerPoint, we do offer the option on Slide Builder Slide Builder is the main one here. Whether you want to choose between a standard size screen or a wide screen. Um, also, uh, the other option uh, that I want to show you is 3D Text, real quick. So 3D Text is a OpenGL 3D canvas that you see here. And you basically, you can use it for a number of re uh, reasons. Um, you can type in uh, a heading in here. Let's say I want to type in Welcome. I want to welcome them and I can choose the font right here, Arial Black. Um, it has a lot of options, uh, some are pre-built, some are here, some pre light presets. I can choose different light presets. Just click on the one I want. And then let's click on Advanced Background Fills. This opens up an advanced editor where I can actually create a brand new light source and then it creates an advanced background fill option. So it looks a little whiter. And click back to the current point of zero. I can set the intensity to reduce this one down to 50%. Reduce this light down to 50% as well. Click OK. Add that in, double click that to set it, and there we have it on a red gradient background. So you don't always have to have the background. So let's set this up so we get the vertical rotation correct. Hold on, let me just set that. I want to set it that much. I want to export this to slide builder tab. 
So we're going to choose Transparent 3D because now it'll only take the text. There we go. It took the text and now you can position it around no matter where you want. So that's how you use 3D text. Now you can also use 3D text over here to create some really stunning backgrounds and you know we do have a lot of backgrounds built in. Um, just you can cycle through them just by using your arrow keys. We do have predefined gradients and there's a whole bunch in here. So choose one that you like and you can actually use it with the background as well. Now one of the other tabs we didn't talk about for the quick introduction is the slide builder tab. On the left panel here you see all these high resolution PNG objects that are provided at no charge uh, for put on, in Podium. For PowerPoint, you got arrows, you got bullet points at different sizes, you got, for example, this 100% guarantee badges. Let's put one up here. You just double click on it, and you can see this is what the badge looks like. Let's say you're making a presentation where you need to show that you're offering a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Uh, that this is how you're going to set it in there. There's also drawing tools that are listed in the top toolbar here. For example, you get you can draw a rectangle, ellipse, a line, polygons. Uh, let's go ahead and draw a rectangle here and just put that on the side here like this. And there we go. We're going to move this object a little bit over here on the side here. Uh, we have the layers panel on the right side here, so you can actually move around and see which layer you're editing or moving around. So, and you can rename this. So, for example, um, when I click on Object Two, we know that that's that satisfaction guarantee. Click this button and just type in Seal, or since it is a seal, so that way you know which one you're selected. Here's the 3D text one. Here is the uh, 3D clip art, and we'll type that in. So that's how you do it. You can add a gradient here, choose different gradients, and we have a full featured screen capture application and built inside of Podium as well. Here's area options of what you want to capture, whether it's a rectangle, ellipse, a polygon, a freehand, if you want to start at a certain location, lots of options. So basically that's it in a nutshell on Podium for PowerPoint, uh, whenever you just want to close it, you can go ahead and close it. And it'll ask you with the, whether you want to save these slides you've started building here or not. So let's click on yes on this one because this is a very standard uh, slide here. I'm just going to call this wavy blue. Click save. And it's saved. So it's going to cycle through the next one and say if you want to save this builder slide, I'm going to click yes. I'm going to well, I do want to save this builder slide and I call this demo slide and 3D text is also going to ask me because sometimes uh, you can always recreate the 3D text but sometimes you might have a complex 3D uh, paragraph or complex um, settings or lighting that you've done to it that you do want to keep. So I'm going to click on this one, yes as well, just to show you guys. Welcome, and it saves it. So now, when it does save it, here is how you're going to retrieve it again. So you go back to Podium, click on PowerPoint, let Power, uh, the, let Podium launch here, and then when you hop over to the Library tab, right over here, you'll see that My Designs tab over here. So here is your 3D text uh, uh, slides you've sla saved. So over here on the 3D uh, on the My Designs tab, you see 3D text here. You see Slide Builder here. See Slide Designer here. As you can see, that's the latest one we just saved. Here on this one, it's this one right here, and on 3D text, it's this one right here. Now you can reopen these just by double clicking on it, and it will reopen them back into the appropriate tab. So that is it in a nutshell and that's how you use Podium for PowerPoint.